Hello everyone, I'm Isaiah Trooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install DP emotes into your guys' 5M server for free. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is click the first link down in the description below. That will bring you guys right here to the DP emotes GitHub page. From here, what you guys are going to want to do is click over to releases and click on the latest release. That will bring you guys right here and then just click on the top one, source code.zip. It'll start downloading, open it on up. And if you go inside of the DP emotes folder, you'll be able to see here that there is a client stream and your basic plugin folders for a 5M server. Now to install this, all you guys are going to want to do is open up your file explorer, navigate to whatever drive your 5M server is on. If you installed it the same way as me, it's on your C drive. Then go to FX server, the TX data, CFX default, and then resources. And now it depends where you want to put it. You can just put it in your resources if you want, like I'm going to. Or you can make a subfolder for email menus if you want. It's really up to you. If you don't know what a subfolder is, it's basically having two brackets. And then in between the two brackets, a name or the category of the mods that are inside of it. And if you have two brackets, it means you don't have to ensure that folder itself. You only have to ensure the mods inside. So it kind of just organizes your 5M server a little bit more. So what you guys are going to want to do is drag and drop this into your guys' resources folder. From here, you're going to want to rename it delete everything up until dp emotes so all you guys are left with is dp emotes and then copy the dp emotes name you can now close the download go to cfx default folder and open up your server.cfg from here you're going to want to make a new category in your ensure list so two hashtags and then emotes and then enter and then ensure and then control v the name making sure that it is the exact same name because if capitals are slightly different it will not work. You always have to make sure that the capitals are the exact same. From here, you can then close that, hit the X. From here, I recommend going into your resources and then double checking your config.lua. This way you can change a bunch of key bindings and stuff like that. I usually disable the actual menu key bind because it conflicts with a controller key bind. And then you can just toggle it through your guys' chat. It's really up to you if you want to do it. So I'm just going to disable it for now. And then hit save. And then from here, all you guys are going to want to do, go to your CFX default, back to TX data, back to FX server, and then double click on your default.pat in order to start your 5M server up. And then we'll hop in game and I'll show you guys how it works. Okay, so once you guys are in game, all you guys are going to want to do is hit F3, or if you disable the F3 key binding, type emote, menu, open it on up, and that'll bring your DP emotes menu. From here, you can change your walking styles, your moves, which is kind of like your facial expressions. And obviously your emotes are a ton of stuff. Just select one, press enter, and then you will start doing the emote. There are also prop emotes, which is where you carry around stuff. You guys can see now we've got a beer in his hand. Really, really good emote menu, and it definitely improves your guys' roleplay. Obviously, if you guys do not want the menu yet again, all you guys have got to do is delete it. It's pretty simple if you guys don't like the actual mod itself. Just delete it from your server.cfg and your resources, and it is gone. Also, if you guys did want to change the key binding after a while, like I showed you, just go into your config and you can change a bunch of stuff to do with it. You can also type slash emote and then the actual name of the emote, so for example, like sit, and your character will then sit down. You just got to know the exact name, otherwise it won't work. Then you can also do slash EC in order to cancel the emote. Apart from that, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Comment down below what video you guys want to see next and also check out my 5PD 5M server Discord server down in the description below. Other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.